Clark Expo, formerly Expo Pilipino, was the Philippine National Centennial Exposition and centerpiece of the commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the Declaration of Philippine Independence on June 12, 1898. The 60 hectare Heritage and Entertainment Park in Clark Freeport Zone, Angeles City is a celebration of the Filipino history, culture, and achievements in the past century and aspirations for the third millennium. The site was a project of the National Centennial Commission NCC, and the Philippine Centennial Exposition Corporation. Description It has a 35,000-seat amphitheater. In addition, the site is also the new home for the 45-acre Neon Pilipino Complex, an open-air museum featuring miniature attractions of the Philippines and its culture. In early 2010, the site was relaunched as Clark Education City by the Australian International Training and Management Group AITMG. Initial construction of the campus cost $6 million, with a capacity of 15,000 students. The institution delivers a range of vocational courses accredited by the Australian government, English language, and customized training. The facility now operates as Site Skills Training 1. Budget The construction of Expo Filipino entailed a total budget of 3.5 billion pesos, 63.64 million dollars. Then President Fidel V. Ramos directed three state-run financial institutions. Social Security System SSS, Government Service Insurance System GSIS, and Land Bank of the Philippines to lend a total of 1.4 billion pesos $25.45 million to the joint venture. Issues the project was criticized for the excessive amounts of money that went to its construction. Particular targets of criticism were a freedom ring, greater than 1.2 billion pesos, a parking lot, 111 pesos million, an entry zone, 118 pesos million, display villages, 290 pesos million, and an artificial river, 76 pesos million, that had bridges spanning it, total 32 pesos million. Expo Filipino closed down in 1999 under President Joseph Estrada, after sustaining heavy losses. Reopening After having been mothballed for more than five years, the site reopened as Clark Expo on December 8, 2005, to host trade exhibits and cultural presentations headed by the Clark Development Corporation CDC. The park's reopening featured concerts, world-class furniture exhibits, carnival rides, and major concerts. CDC President Antonio Ng said the opening of the Expo Pilipino was realized due to the directive and full support of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in boosting tourism and investment activities inside the Clark Special Economic Zone, with her administrative order, AO, NO. 63 issued on February 17, 2003, directing the transfer of certain assets and liabilities of the National Development Company NDC in First Clark Centennial Corporation FCCC to CDC, in connection with the reopening of the park was the Clark National Duathlon Championships on December 19, and the holding of the annual district assembly of some 10,000 members of Jehovah's Witnesses in Pampanga and Tarlac on December 23-25. CDC spent some 2.5 million pesos for the rehabilitation of the on-site replica of Barisayan Church, an amphitheater, trade halls, and convention centers. Scheduled events Expo Pilipino in Metro Manila as Expo Pilipino Millennium in 2017, President Rodrigo Duterte named Entertainment City will be named after this exposition in 1998 for the commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence of the Philippines on June 12, 1898 to become Expo Pilipino Entertainment City within Manila Bay Freeport Zone, Reclamation Area along Roxas Boulevard and Macapagal Boulevard in the city of Parañaque. 
From December 2021 to August 2022, the Expo Pilipino Millennium will be held at the following venues, venues, Manila Bay, Freeport Zone Parañaque Entertainment City City of Dreams Manila Okada Manila Solaire Resort and Casino Pasay SM Mall of Asia Complex SM Mall of Asia SM Mall of Asia Arena SMX Convention Center CCP Complex ALIW Theater Coconut Palace Manila Film Center Philippine International Convention Center Star City Tangalang Pambansa Tangalang Francisco Balagtas World Trade Center Metro Manila Upcoming events from December 2021 to August 2022, it will revive as Expo Pilipino Millennium as a grand showcase will be located in Metro Manila will be held at the Entertainment City within Manila Bay Freeport Zone in Parañaque. On June 12, 2022, the Expo Pilipino Millennium will be led by President Rodrigo Duterte, cabinet members including DOT Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat, MMDA Chairman Danilo Lim, Metro Manila Mayors, PNP NCRPO personnel and MMDA personnel to safe the security and the song Mabuhay Ka from the Philippine Centennial theme song was composed by Dante M. Baring will be performed and revived by Yang Constantino will have a bonding with her fans in Metro Manila at over 13 million, after 24 years of the commemoration of the centennial of the Declaration of Independence of the Philippines that was on June 12, 1998. In order to revive the Philippine independence theme in 2022, Kalayan, Kayamanan ng Pilipino, from the theme for the centennial celebration of the independence of the Philippines in 1998 called Kalayan, Kayamanan ng Bayan, will be used. On January 25, 2017, President Rodrigo Duterte announced to name the mixed-use development Entertainment City and on March 22, 2017, the renaming to Expo Pilipino Entertainment City would be ratified after this exposition in 1998 for the centennial celebration of the independence of the Philippines. On February 6, 2019, President Rodrigo Duterte will sign into law through the Republic Act No. 11059 and renamed to Expo Pilipino Entertainment City after the opening of the newly inaugurated Parañaque Integrated Terminal Exchange was inaugurated on November 5, 2018 and the ongoing construction of the LRT-1 South Extension Project will be extended up to Cavite then with the opening of Nyan Landing and Bayshore Residential Resort in 2021 for the forthcoming Expo Pilipino Millennium in 2022 will be held at the Manila Bay Freeport Zone from the revival of Expo Pilipino in 1998. Expo Pilipino Millennium will be held at the Entertainment City, SM Mall of Asia Complex and CCP Complex within Manila Bay Freeport Zone, Baywalk along Roxas Boulevard, Rizal Park, Quirino Grandstand, Fort Santiago and Quezon Memorial Circle with live telecast on ASAP will be televised by ABS-CBN and will be held at the Ayala Center, Ayala Triangle Gardens within Makati Central Business District Manila Financial Zone, Makati, EDSA Shrine within Ortigas Center Manila Financial Zone, Ortigas, the fort within Bonifacio Global City Manila Financial Zone, Fort Bonifacio, Newport City, Resorts World Manila within Manila Freeport Zone and Eastwood City with live telecast on Sunday Pinasaya will be televised by GMA Network on June 12, 2022. Number of tourists visiting in Metro Manila Over 3 million local visitors from different 16 cities and one town of the National Capital Region. Over 3 million local visitors from different regions and over 6 million to 12 million foreign visitors from other countries such as China, Hong Kong, Macau, United States, United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, France, Australia, Germany, Canada, Singapore, Italy, Russia, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, Myanmar, India, New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Brazil will visit to the Philippines to explore too many tourist attractions in Metro Manila for for the forthcoming event Expo Pilipino Millennium at the Entertainment City within Manila Bay Freeport Zone, Bay City in Parañaque City and the other one at SM Mall of Asia Complex and CCP Complex within Manila Bay Freeport Zone in Pasay City, Baywalk, Luneta, Quirino Grandstand, Manila Ocean Park and Fort Santiago in the City of Manila, and other tourists at the Quezon Memorial Circle in Quezon City, Ayala Triangle Gardens and Ayala Center in Makati City, EDSA Shrine in Quezon City, the the fort between Makati and Taguig, Newport City in Pasay City and Eastwood City in Quezon City on June 12, 2022 according to the DOT and MMDA. Exploring tourist attractions maintained by the Department of Tourism and Metropolitan Manila Development Authority. Number of viewers in households. 
More than 10 million viewers at all homes in residential centers households in Metro Manila and suburban areas Cavite, Laguna, Rizal, Batangas, Bulacan and Pampanga including Angeles called Greater Manila Area with a total of 31. 8 million viewers while residents will remain in all residential centers to watch the much-awaited Expo Pilipino Millennium will be televised by the following television networks on June 12, 2022, CBN GMA 5 RPN, CNN, Filipino Live telecast on the following on the flag day from June 6 to 11, 2022, CBN It's Showtime GMA Eat Bulaga, live special coverage on the following on June 12, 2022, CBN and S Plus A Expo Pilipino Filipino Millennium, the ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs Special Coverage DZMM Teleradio Expo Filipino Millennium, the DZMM Special Coverage ANC Expo Filipino Millennium 2022 on ANC GMA and GMA News TV Expo Filipino Millennium, the GMA News and Public Affairs Special Coverage 5 Expo Filipino Millennium on 5 RPN, CNN Philippines Expo Filipino Millennium on CNN Filipino Live Telecast on the following on June 12, 2022, CBN ASAP GMA Sunday Pinasaya Sponsors Media Partners The Expo Pilipino Millennium will be held at the Entertainment City within Manila Bay Freeport Zone from December 2021 to August 2022 sponsored by the following media print, radio and television networks, media print Business Mirror Business World Malaya Manila Bulletin The Manila Times Philippine Daily Inquirer The Philippine Star Radio DZMM Radio Patrol 630 Super Radio Radio DZBB 594 DZRH under Manila Broadcasting Company MOR 101.9 Barangay LS 97.1 93.9 IFM 97.9 Home Radio 90.7 Love Radio under Manila Broadcasting Company 96.3 Easy Rock under Manila Broadcasting Company Yes The Best 101.1 under Manila Broadcasting Company Energy FM 106.7 91.5 Win Radio Radio Television ABS CBN GMA Network The 5 Network CNN Philippines under Radio Philippines Network RPN and 9 Media Corporation The Expo Pilipino Millennium will be sponsored by the following stakeholders Stakeholders Department of Tourism DOT, Metropolitan Manila Development Authority MMDA Other Stakeholders Cultural Center of the Philippines Duty Free Philippines Corporation Intramuros Administration National Parks Development Committee Nayong Pilipino Foundation Inc. Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation Philippine Retirement Authority Philippine Travel Agencies Association Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority Tourism Promotions Board Tourism Offices in Metro Manila Manila, Manila City Tourism Office through Manila City Hall Quezon City, Quezon City Tourism Office through Quezon City Hall Caloocan, Caloocan City Tourism Office through Caloocan City Hall Las Piñas, Las Piñas City Tourism Office through Las Piñas City Hall Makati, Makati City Tourism Office through Makati City Hall Malabon, Malabon City Tourism Office through Malabon City Hall Mandaluyong, Mandaluyong City Tourism Office through Mandaluyong City Hall Marikina, Marikina City Tourism Office through Marikina City Hall Muntinlupa, Muntinlupa City Tourism Office through Muntinlupa City Hall Navotas, Navotas City Tourism Office through Navotas City Hall Parañaque, Parañaque City Tourism Office through Parañaque City Hall Pasay, Pasay City Tourism Office through Pasay City Hall Pasig, Pasig City Tourism Office through Pasig City Hall Pateros, Pateros Municipal Tourism Office through Pateros Municipal Hall San Juan, San Juan City Tourism Office through San Juan City Hall Taguig, Taguig City Tourism Office through Taguig City Hall Valenzuela, Valenzuela City Tourism Office through Valenzuela City Hall Major Sponsors 
The Expo Pilipino Millennium will be sponsored by the following publishers and products. HYDN Publishing Inc. Political Map of Metro Manila Asia Type Publications AccuMap Metro Manila City Atlas A1 Metro Manila City Atlas A2 Metro Manila M1 United Tourist Promotions EZ Maps EZ Map, Metro Manila EZ Map, Metro Manila Street Guide Nextlight Publishing Political Map of Metro Manila The Expo Pilipino Millennium will be sponsored by the following companies SM Prime Holdings SM Development Corporation SM Investments Corporation SM Supermalls JG Summit Holdings Robinson's Land Development Corporation Robinson's Malls Ayala Corporation Ayala Land Ayala Malls Megaworld Corporation Empire East Holdings Megaworld Lifestyle Malls Philinvest Philinvest Land Inc. Vista Land and Lifescapes DMCI Holdings Metro Pacific Investments Corporation San Miguel Corporation Lopez Group of Companies Unilever Philippines Bank of the Philippine Islands Banco de Oro Manila Electric Company PLDT Globe Telecom Bayan Telecommunications Mynilid Water Services Manila Water Jollibee Chowking Greenwich Pizza Red Ribbon Bake Shop National Bookstore References External Links Clark Special Economic Zone Wow Philippines Pampanga 2 Clark Education City